Hi there, my name is Paul Tannehill. I'll be sharing in this screencast how to address this issue you might come across when you're importing between two Moodle courses. This is an error that's been happening a little bit here and there, so you might come across it. And so here's how to solve it. The system basically is recognizing some minor error with the HTML in one of your quiz questions. And you don't have to know anything about the HTML. Uh, just, just know that's what's happening, and I'll show you how to fix it. So you'll see that the uh, backup file, which is created by the original course with the content in it, that's where the question resides. And we're going to go here in a minute and fix it. So look at that number in the middle of that error message, that uh, 1432, etc. number. Give that a double click to select it and go ahead and copy it to the clipboard. Next step, we're going to go to the source course, which is where we just were actually. And essentially up in the actions menu gear in the upper right, go ahead and click that and then go down to more at the bottom. Next we'll click on questions at the bottom of that page. And at this point you're going to see a lot of the questions in the course. This course happens to have hundreds. You can have thousands in the course. It doesn't matter. But you can imagine how tricky it might be to identify that specific question. But I've got a trick up my sleeve. On any of the questions, click the little edit drop down and go to edit question. Now look at the URL up on top. Look at the number up at the end of the URL up there. Double click it and then just paste and then press enter. Now you'll be taken to the exact question where the, where the issue resides. Let's go ahead and click expand all up here so we can see everything. And we're going to take a look at the available answers in this multiple choice question here. Let's take a quick look back at that error message and you'll see that the, uh, the answer has got generalized anxiety disorder in this case. So um, we can uh, keep an eye out for that. I think it's this last answer here. But I want to play it safe. I want to make sure that all the potential answers are fixed, not just the one. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to select everything in each question and I'm going to cut it. I'm going to paste it a special way. I'm going to add shift when I press uh, command V or control V. When you add shift to paste, again, adding shift is shift control V or shift command V if you're on a Mac. Uh, that will paste just the text minus any formatting behind it. So that's a, another cool trick here. I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of these here just to make sure that all we're using is just the text because it doesn't matter what kind of formatting it might have. So just to avoid any of these HTML issues again. Once those are all done, we can go ahead and click Save at the bottom. OK, let's get on with the course import now. I usually suggest to select the course short name up here and copy it to the clipboard. That way, when it comes time to choose which course to import from, uh, you, there's no mistake of choosing the wrong course. So we've got that selected. Now we're going to go into the course into which we are importing. Uh, just a standard course import process now. And then you see what we're doing here. So I've got a lot of courses visible to me, but of course you won't have as many. But here's where this uh, the value of my process comes into play because this is the only course you can choose. So there's really got no chance of selecting the wrong one by accident. And just click continue. And then the typical process is to just click jump to final step. And this might take a while depending on how much stuff you have in your course. And when the import is finished, go ahead and click continue and you'll be taken to your course home page. And there it is. No issues, no errors. Hope you enjoyed this screencast. I got something out of it. How to bypass a little issue you might have every now and then when you import between Moodle courses. Have a great day.